All right, people, what the hell is going on? I am just shooting a random ass video. I shot a short about this stuff a little bit earlier, but I wanted to uh, just shoot a regular ass video just to get the full thought of this shit out. And this is something that I've always, um, it's, I, it, I always go through this kind of stuff on uh, goddamn music. Never on level like you like you want it. It's something I always go through. It ain't no surprise, but it's entertaining when the fuck it happens. You know what I'm saying? Cause after it happens so many times, yeah, you know it's, it's just you know off your back. You don't really give no shits about it. And this is getting blocked on uh, the date naps. Which is funny because I just rewrote my, uh, I just rewrote my um, dating profile, um, the bio. I rewrote it last night. No matter how many times I rewrite it, update it, it always says the same shit. Generally, it is what it is. But I've mentioned that you know, as far as what I do, I don't do nothing but sit around at home in front of the TV, tapping through my phone and getting blocked on day naps. That's, <laughs> as far as the, you know, what I, you know, what I do on a daily basis, that's what I put on there. And then of course, you know, the very next day, first person I talk to, I get blocked. <laughs> and that's why the first person I talk to, I get blocked. Now we, we, we chatting and whatnot, and uh, not very long, but because we just got in the motherfucking inbox. It's, it's funny that I get in the inbox. It happened yesterday too. I got blocked by somebody yesterday. You either get blocked or they end the conversation where you can't, you know, they you can delete the conversation. They don't literally have to block you. They can just delete the conversation depending on which app you're on. And you know, they kind of, yeah, kind of sever the contact. But it happened yesterday. Um, mm -hmm. What, uh, what was it? She, I, you know, I spoke, you know what I'm saying? When you send somebody a message, you speak. And it was like, I'm doing fine or whatever. Thanks. You said like, thanks for asking. I was like, no problem. And then she didn't know how to fuck to take, you know, when somebody, you, somebody, uh, thank you for something. You say no problem. And what you say no problem for? I said, I was, I, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you said, thanks. I said, no problem. That's how I replied. And she said something about giving thanks or some shit like that. And I'm like, whatever works, man. You know what I'm saying? You reply on some shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. And I'm like, whatever works. I always give thanks to the Almighty. That ain't got shit to do with nothing. God damn it. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, whatever works. And then, you know, conversation ended. But I'm like, I didn't do nothing. That wasn't my fault. You know what I'm saying? I told her what I, what, you know what I'm saying? I say, you say thanks, I say no problem. That's how I reply. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't been around, I mean, you 50 goddamn years old. You know what I'm saying? You 50 goddamn years old. And you ain't said thank you to somebody. They ain't said no problem, ain't no thing, or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? What, what, the, what the, where the fuck you been? You so busy around here trying to dress up like Erica goddamn Baidu that you ain't been able to hold a goddamn correct conversation with somebody? And she don't look like Erica, Erica Baidu at all. It's just the fact she got that whole, you know, whatever Swahili dress style, whatever the fuck that shit is. <laughs> but I'm like, shit, ain't my goddamn fault. You know, you know, I'm thinking in my head, ain't my fault. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, you don't, you don't dig how my my verbiage. Then it, it is what it is. I'm not gonna change that. I'm not gonna be sitting here stumbling over my words trying to make sure I can say some shit that you gonna understand when I'm clearly speaking motherfucking English. I don't give a damn if it is ghetto, ebonics, or whatever the fuck else it is. Everybody else can understand, at least most people. <laughs> Not everybody, but most people. It is, man. It is. 
a motherfucking shame. Because today, uh, you know, you chat in the inbox just a little bit, got right past the point where somebody asked you what you do. I mean, uh, what did you do today? I mean, I've been laying in bed all day or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing for me every day. Oh, lucky you. I, 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 whatever the fuck she said after that. I replied with something and she was like, well, do you want to text or hop on or do you want to uh, do you want to text or a Snapchat to get to know each other better? And I'm like, it's fine where we at. You know, you know, on Facebook, uh, Facebook dating, you know what I'm saying? Blocked. What the fuck else am I supposed to goddamn do? You know what I'm saying? What you know, what else am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? We sitting here. Well, I'm doing like I'm on a keyboard, but you know, you're on the phone, whatever the fuck. <laughs> and somebody be like, yeah, you want to text or I mean that's what the fuck we doing. Or you want to Snapchat? I don't have Snapchat. I stopped Snapchatting a while ago. I'm not for the download the app to fuck with you. You know? Fuck Snapchat. I'm already on the goddamn dating app talking to you. It's like you go on a date with somebody and <clears throat> y'all sitting at the day at the table eating. And the bro be like, you want to go across the street and have some dinner? Like, shit, we eating right now. You know what I'm saying? We already sitting down eating at a restaurant. <laughs> and then she get up and walk the fuck off like, fuck this nigga. <laughs> like, we already doing what you suggesting. Why, what the fuck difference does it make? Because if you're talking about texting, what the, it don't matter no way. You know what I'm saying? It, at least to me, it don't matter because I get an alert on my phone. I open up an app. I see what the fuck you type. And then I type some shit back. What the fuck app? I mean, I mean what, what difference does it make? Like, for real, what difference does it make? It don't make a goddamn bit of difference. Everybody just fucking stupid as fuck. That's all it is. People just dumb, stupid as hell. That's 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 my goddamn conclusion to every goddamn thing I run across these days. You dumb. And I don't want to say no blanket ass statement, like I said in my uh in my short. Well, I'm like, man, women are so dumb or whatever fuckers. I you know, I don't mean to generalize like that. But the motherfuckers I run across, man, goddamn. Shit. Y'all give a whole bunch of motherfuckers some badass names. Cause I don't fucking understand. And I ain't gonna try to understand. That's why this shit happened. I just keep right the fuck on moving along to the next motherfucker. That's, you know, it's gonna be the same old shit. That's all I do. And I just sit, that's a bad thing about sitting around the house, not having shit else to do. You just sitting there swiping on that. And I done deleted like, I think I only got like four, four day naps on my phone. Well, five. I take that back. I got five uh, day naps on my phone. I just deleted like half of the ones I had. I say half, it was probably, probably wouldn't have. I know I deleted at least four. You know what I'm saying? That was on my phone. I deleted Match, Okay Cupid, uh, I know I took Hinge off my phone. It's another one I can't think of, but it ain't on my phone. Oh, BBP, you know, Big Beautiful People Meet or whatever fuck. Delete that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I delete them shits off my motherfucking phone, boop. Because it don't matter to have that many because uh, it's the same thing. Whether I got two, one, or 20, it's the same motherfucking shit on all the apps. It don't matter if it's BLK or black people meet, or you run across black folks and whatever the fuck. It don't matter if you run across, you on plenty of fish where it's more diverse. And you running across whites and Mexicans and Asians and all kind of, you know what? Everybody's full of shit. I just ran across two white people last week. They ain't talking about shit same way uh, these uh, Negro women ain't talking about shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't fucking matter on uh, who or where. You run across the same dumb ass shit. You know, 
motherfuckers ain't it, it, either they don't want to talk or you sit there or they don't uh, don't want to reply because you also got to take in mind that a lot of those women sitting on there entertaining 50,000 motherfuckers at the same time you know what I'm saying women's inbox on them things be full it ain't like my inbox where um if I look and see I got a message I'm like ooh shit I got a message you know, let me go look and see what, what, what happened here. You might get a couple of those today. And I, when I say might, I do mean might. After you done swiped all goddamn day long, you might, motherfucker, get a reply back. And that reply might not be shit. Because I got a match yesterday. I'm sitting there swiping and blue blowing. I was on Baidu. I'm sitting there swiping like motherfucking. Like, fuck, I got a match on there. I was like, oh, shit, I got a match. You went look at that shit. It's a motherfucker that I've been matching with on several apps for the last few years. That's how that shit go. It's a motherfucker that I've been matching with over the last handful of years at least. Motherfucker named Jesse. Goddamn, uh, 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 not a goddamn, but a, but a transsexual. I'm like, really? I'm sitting here swiping, that's, that's what I get. You know what I'm saying? That's what I get. All these women I swipe across and I, I get a match from the from the dude mixed up and all that shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. You know, just get the fuck out. Not what I'm looking for. In the slightest, man. That is not what I want, man. But that's that's what that's what I've been going through. And like I said, this. This video ain't no different from any other video in the last year, maybe year and a half that I done posted. To say all this is repeat material, motherfucker. This is a replay. You know what I'm saying? This is a replay. Same bullshit, slightly different people. You know what I'm saying? I say slightly different people because I did run across that same transsexual or whatever. At least the transsexual. I remember being in the inbox with that transsexual at one point. And... Nice. You know what I'm saying? We just chatting. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't catch him what they was pitching, but, you know, it, it wasn't no ignorant shit like I do when I, when I deal with the women. It's, you know, because I end, yeah, like I said before, I end up uh, with uh, transsexuals in my inbox quite a bit. You know, other than the lack of compatibility, <laughs> the obvious lack of compatibility, you know, that presents itself. It ain't never the dumb shit I run across dealing with these women. It is, it is pathetic. Women don't even know how to have all the goddamn conversation and shit. That's why I jumped off of Bumble. Bumble is the stupidest. Yeah, yeah. Women, women have to make the first move. That's not what you want. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure a lot of people get all kind of shit on Bumble. I don't get shit. The time I spend on Bumble is nothing. I get a message from a woman and it's some, they just say, you either get like a little hand wave thing or they just say hi. You know what that would get me if I did that? Ignored. You know what I'm saying? That would get me fucking ignored. And when they send me a message like that, conversation don't go nowhere because it's the same. You know what? You know, women make the first move. This bumble motherfucker is designed for that. You send me a hand wave, you get a hand wave back. You send me a high, you get a high back. Bitch, say something. I got to say something if, I, if I'm the one sitting up there sending out messages and shit like that. That's why I got to fucking copy and paste. You know what I'm saying? I got to copy and paste. I run through my phone, hit the little uh, clipboard, scroll, boop. That got my intro message right there. Now everything after that gotta come off the top of your fucking head, but you know, there we go. They go a message, they got a question and a statement in it, so it ain't no simple ass shit. It's, which motherfuckers do not know how to fucking, uh, how to reply to. It's, it's funny, you know what I'm saying? And people don't know how to reply to, you know, hello, how you doing? I hope everything is well, you know what I'm saying? It is amazing how people don't know how to reply to that. Hi. No, that is not the correct reply or reply to that, that's that that message I sent. It is not. You know what I'm saying? You send a, a you send me a one-word message back, 
I say indeed. That's it. If I type indeed, that means I'm out the motherfucking conversation. That is a courtesy reply. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't even know what the fuck indeed mean anymore. I looked it up at one point. This is why I use it so much, but I don't remember what the fuck indeed mean. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? But yeah, it's just, somebody typed some bullshit. I'm like, indeed. I'm out of there. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, uh, motherfuckers leave one of these motherfuckers right here. Like on a uh, Facebook dating. You get that blue Facebook thumbs up. Fuck out of here with that. That is a universal. Even before Facebook dating came along, uh, when you on Messenger or something like that, you get that thumbs up, that means conversation is over. No matter how long y'all been chatting back and forth with a somewhat productive chat, if you fuck around and get one of those, conversation is over. And I get that shit from people I know. You know what I'm saying? You get thumbs up from people I know. You know what? Your goddamn phone number is out my motherfucking phone. Bye, motherfucker shit. Get your ass up out of here then. You don't want to goddamn talk? Then bye, motherfucker. Get your ass up out of here. But that's how the inbox be. Just this. If it ain't dry as hell, it's dumb as fuck. Dumb as hell, dry as fuck. That's what you get. And a lot of people, the way my shit set up now, is just not going to reply because I got in my motherfucking, I got in my bio. Don't ask me. Don't don't you tell me. So tell me about yourself. Don't don't even say that shit. You know what I'm saying? You, gonna, you ain't going to be able to help but to say it because it's in my motherfucking profile that people don't read because they come in and ask me stuff and I be like, did you read my profile? You know what I'm saying? Anytime you come in and ask me a question, I know I've said this a hundred times. You come in my inbox and ask me certain shit, I'm going to ask you to go look at my motherfucking profile because apparently you didn't. Especially when you say, so tell me about yourself. The last person that did that, I told him to read my profile. I ain't heard from him since. Because I'm pretty sure they looked in that profile and saw that stupid shit they, they just said to me in my profile for them not to fucking do. It was already there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's already there. Don't be so fucking simple. You know, you only get fucking 500 characters in your motherfucking profile on most of them. You only get 500 characters. You can't say a whole goddamn lot. So I say the shit that you and I would probably more than likely like to do it out. Most people take that shit the wrong goddamn way. I say a couple of things that I don't want to deal with, and I tell you the shit about me that you probably want to deal with, uh, don't want to deal with, and you know what I'm saying? You Take it how you want. You know what I'm saying? Take it how you do. You roll with it, you know what I'm saying, if you want. Or you can be like, ugh, like a lot of people do, and call me rude and all kind of other shit. Bitch, I'm not fucking rude. I'm Frank. Even though that ain't my motherfucking name. Because <laughs> frankly speaking, motherfucker, you just... <laughs> Half these motherfuckers need to learn how to goddamn read and, and hold a goddamn conversation without all these goddamn one-word-ass replies and OOKs and all kind of shit like that. I probably missed out on a whole bunch of shit just from replying to bullshit that people typed to me. I'm not going to fucking do it. You got to have some kind of principles. You got to stick by something. A motherfucker's give you any goddamn thing. Oh, typical cliched ass conversation. It's certain things. If that if, if that's what you getting out of people, then everything that come out of their mouth is going to be derivative of something else. You know what I'm saying? They have no goddamn uh, original thought at all. People are fucking like that. You know what I'm saying? You ever, you ever heard somebody talk and everything that come out of their mouth is either some slang somebody else that made up, some uh, song lyric or some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, and it's the same thing that you hear everybody say. They All their conversation is like that. That is a big ass turn off for me. I'm sorry. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people share my motherfucking mindset, attitude, and all this other shit. But I'm pretty damn sure you ain't for the find a motherfucker that just sounds just like me. You don't, you, you just, you just not. 
Now, I ain't saying I'm 100% original because it's a lot of goddamn people out here and there's a lot of folks that share similarities. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with no degrees of, you know, of connection. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's just how it is. It just turned up like that. It happens. You know? But... You ain't for the, I'm not, you're not for the talk to me and, and everything that come out of my mouth is going to be derivative of some pop culture shit that, that I, I done kind of absorbed through osmosis or some shit like that. I'm doing it the wrong way. You know, I'm, you absorb the shit. <laughs> you're just absorbing this shit, you know what I'm saying? And then that shit come out of your mouth and you sound stupid as fuck without even fucking knowing it. You see like this shit right here I'm doing? That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. You know where I get this shit from? Watching bitches talk on fucking uh, Snapchat, and uh, which is why I don't do Snapchat no more. Because I find myself doing certain shit itself. I do it years after the goddamn fact. Which is why it's such a goddamn turn off. You said I just did it a goddamn again. I can't stop. Ah! But anyway. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's my point. It's a turn off. I hate that. You know what I'm saying? I fucking hate it. Now I don't want to move my fucking hands. <laughs> Got my hands through my legs. I, mean, I don't want to. I want to talk and move my hands. But I'm going to do that wave shit that I hate seeing people do that I do. Oh, man. But you can't. I mean, but that's who they are. But if that's who they are, I, I know I don't want to be around that shit all the goddamn time. So I just. I prefer just to, to skip it from the start. And people read my motherfucking uh, uh, dating bios and don't understand what the fuck I'm talking about. But I'm like, look, if you don't understand when I say anything platonic or, romant or romantic, I'm not expecting or looking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking or expecting anything. I'm online to see who's talking. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Because anything uh, anything prior to the second date is usually just bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's usually just bullshit. If we hadn't got to the point to where we was able to get along in the inbox and then get along on the phone long enough to set up a motherfucking date, go on a date or a meeting if you want to call it that, go on a meeting, hang out for a little while, and then continue, continue continue uh communicating with each other until we set up a second date then i really ain't got no interest in what the fuck you talking about because it don't fucking matter it don't matter you know what i'm saying anything prior to that second date if you ain't because the first date can be anything because like i said at that point all the cards should have been on the table most cards should have been on the table by the time you end the first date. At that point, you should know, okay, this motherfucker ain't me. Because at that, you get to see them in person, not some pictures or some videos or no shit. You get to fucking see them and talk to them and see how it is that they, you know, get all their mannerisms and shit like that. You can't even get all of that shit on uh, on video chat. You have to be sitting there talking with somebody in goddamn person. Be able to read their body language when they around you and shit like that, or them just out in public. Anything before that, I it's you know it is what it is, but I don't take it seriously at all. I don't. I don't take it seriously at all. If we get to the point that where we didn't saw each other twice and we still talking, then okay. We might be cool. But that don't mean, you know, that don't mean that, you know. That's boo material or no shit like that. I'm just talking about it on a person to person basis. We all right. You know what I'm saying? That type of deal left. And you know, you on a date nap, motherfuckers on there looking for they next husband or whatever the fuck. I tell you, that ain't me right out the fucking door. There's a whole lot of shit you got to go through before we even get to entertain shit like that. I don't know shit about you. You don't know shit about me. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, you don't take your time to put in all the work that you think, you know, that you don't want to do, then you're going to be disappointed. I will tell you that shit right the fuck up front because women come up with this women intuition and 
You know what I'm saying? I can read people. I can do this, that, and the other. And, you know, I'm doing this shit again. But, okay, if you got all these fucking mental superpowers dealing with people and shit like that, why your ass 50 years old and single as fuck? You should have had this shit figured out in your 20s then, shit. And I ain't bullshitting. The stuff I hear come out of woman's mouth, because they always know every goddamn thing. I don't know what dudes talk about. I really don't give a shit because I don't date men. The shit that come out of these women's mouth, you know, to make them seem so fucking smart and like they know everything and ain't nothing getting over on them. But your ass is sitting around here single as fuck. And uh, you just as can't get right as everybody else. So what the fuck is it you knowing that you ain't a fuck you ain't applying? Because if you got all this goddamn knowledge and know-how and you ain't applying the shit right, you just as stupid as the motherfucker you trying to pick a fucking part. You ain't no better than nobody else. You know, and I, that shit goes right through my mind when I'm sitting there talking to somebody or texting or whatever the fuck we haven't be doing at the goddamn time. I got to keep all this shit in my mind. You know how you talk to a motherfucker on the phone and they telling you some shit and you got that, that twisty face going on like, mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, yeah, you ain't buying none of it. I ain't, yeah, you ain't buying none of it. Same thing, people hop in my inbox and tell me about more about myself than I know. I'm like, well, shit. What? Shit, you know more, more about me than I do. Psych. <laughs> yeah, you need to cut that shit out. You know more about me than I do with shit. Obviously, you need to turn that goddamn radar right back on your ass and uh, and take your own goddamn readings because that's what you need to be fucking doing. I'm not on there taking readings of other people. You know what I'm saying? You take the preliminary glance of, okay, this person just happened to be in the fucking city and that's pretty much it when it comes to my... Everything I do is based on location. It's rock, 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 rock. It's based on location. <laughs> ain't no use of looking at, ain't no use of looking at nothing else because all that swiping you're doing, most of them motherfuckers ain't gonna even swipe back. You ain't gonna match with them. You ain't no use of reading profiles and shit. You read profile when you match with a motherfucker. And you match with somebody, then you read the motherfucking profile and be like, all right, all right, all right okay, all right, all right. And then you might send them a motherfucker message. If you, you match with a motherfucker and you read that profile and it's some bullshit, you just move on about your goddamn business. You read what's what has some sort of potential to it. Sometimes you the, the shit don't match and you speak any goddamn way. Yeah, you just speak anyway. You ain't gotta be looking for nothing. Like I say, platonic or romantic, I ain't expecting to look it for shit. You don't know what the hell you're gonna get out of people by talking to them. You might learn something. Fuck some, folks need to try that shit someday. Talk to folks and learn something. Organic ass conversations. I told folks I don't do that interview shit. You come up here with that, so tell me about yourself, or you start grilling me with question after question after question. I'm gonna borrow the conversation because that's that's not that's not I don't find that enjoyable at all. Cause you gonna start get cause people start asking shit, you get you get the answer. And that's it. I'm not gonna give you an answer and elaborate on it. You got any brothers or sisters? Nope. That's gonna be it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not for the return. I'm not for the return that course. I don't give a fuck whether you got brothers or sisters or not. I don't. Well, where you from? You know, you know where motherfucking live. Motherfuckers get that shit mixed up. Where you from? And you know what I'm saying? Where you, you know, where you stay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you from? I'm from Houston. You born and raised in Houston? Yes. Now, do I give a fuck with somebody born and raised? No. You right here, right now, motherfucker. I don't give a shit about the other shit. Motherfuckers ask you all these goddamn questions. That shit is in the fucking past. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm a, I don't want to sit here and relive my goddamn past, explaining shit to you that don't have shit to do with nothing. It don't. It don't have nothing to do with nothing. Why am I sitting here explaining my goddamn past to you that you know that that you a genie? I mean, can you bring me back to fix some shit? Cause I got some repairs need to be done. Goddamn it. <laughs> No, it don't. You know what I'm saying? You see, yeah, I mean, we can talk. We can talk about right the fuck now. Any other information 
will generally come out in conversation. I be talking to motherfuckers just running my mouth like I'm doing right now. The few times that it do happen. And all the information that, that you would think I'd be holding back be coming, just spewing out my fucking mouth. Motherfuckers don't have to ask me nothing. But that's how it's supposed to be. It don't happen on, it, ain't, man, it might not happen on the first conversation or no shit like that. But eventually come out, all the information you need to know will come out. Everything you need to know will come out. Whether somebody got kids and all this other, you know what, eventually the motherfuckers will tell you. And if a motherfucker, uh, you know, if you think a motherfucker holding back on you, that means you too goddamn invested already. You know what I'm saying? You you too invested already. You need to chill the fuck out. Chill out. <laughs> That's all that fucking mean. My water, my goddamn throat getting dry as hell. Let me see. Is there anything else? And we shot about 30 of these motherfucking videos. Talk about the same old bullshit over and over again. You know why? Because the same old bullshit keep happening. It do. I talk about what the fuck happened, which is why I be like, man, I need to get out of this motherfucking house. I need to um, have some kind of event or something come along to where I can get out. Other, get out and go somewhere other than the motherfucking gym. Because, you know, even at the gym, yeah, it's... You know, I'm not working out. It ain't really much I can do with my phone at the gym. You don't want motherfuckers to like, he recording in the gym. Man. I ain't had nobody do me like that, but I know every once in a while. I've seen it happen to folks on YouTube where people be in YouTube. They'll go to the deepest, darkest corner in the gym and, and start recording, doing, you know, about whatever. The one, the one chick was talking about uh, stocks and, and shit. She got a stock channel which you know, you know, make money on stocks and teach people how to make money and shit. She way in the corner in the goddamn gym. She went way over there with where nobody was. And who whoever she had with her that was recording. You know, talking I don't know remember what she was talking about, but it was it had something to do with probably routines and shit like that. You know, she do a workouts and then uh and whatever the fuck she was talking about, but it had something to do with uh money and stuff like that way in the corner of the gym and then the, uh, the gym person come over there and you know made them made them stop recording and shit like that but you know they got the shit is posted in the gym somewhere i know it, it's in the posted in the in the locker rooms you know a, a camera free locker room and shit like that I'm, that's, man look i be in the locker room and i be in that motherfucker butt ass naked my goddamn self Cause you know I go in there take my showers and shit when I get out the fucking gym. I mean when I get finished working out and stuff like that. But yeah, I ain't nothing in there I want to record now. Where that gym? You know I'm, I'm over there, Midtown, close to Montrose in Houston. So if you if you got to be careful in the locker room about somebody peeping and all kind of other shit, I see. I've seen it. So that's that's. That'll be one of the prime spots. Yeah. But anyway, I'm finna get ready to get up out of here. Well, actually, I ain't getting up out of nothing. I'm finna move from this chair and turn my, my fake hold on. It's a good thing about having long arms. You can just reach over there and turn the AC on because it is a little stuffy in here. Woo! It's a lot stuffy, man. I'm thinking about it. Man. Uh run for the run this video through the through the uh, little the fixings and whatnot and then then post it and i will catch y'all on the next one hopefully it's about something other than the disappointing uh data nap conversations